good morning let us study and understand hyper conjugation what is called hyper conjugation what is called hyper conjugation effects effects of hyper conjugation it is one of the electronic effects there are four electronic effects inductive effect one inductive effect plus or minus inductive effect plus i effect or minus i effect two mesomeric effect or resonance effect three electromeric effect four hyper conjugation in this class we will study in detail and understand hyper conjugation okay it involves hyper conjugation involves sigma sigma bond and pi bond sigma pi conjugation hyper conjugation is sigma pi conjugation and due to sigma sigma electron delocalization sigma electron is delocalized on to pi bond sigma electron is delocalized see sigma electrons are delocalized on to pi bond therefore this bond is broken no bond resonance it is also called there will be no bond see no bond resonance good morning in this class we'll study about i strain i refers to internal what is called i strain in earlier we have studied due to steric effect bulky substituents there are three types of strain there are three types of strain that affect the lewis acid base strength they are f strain front strain back strain b strain internal strain or i strain let us recall recollect what is b strain it is behind the the bulky substituents behind the boron atom or if if there are bulky substituents behind the nitrogen atom in this case there are bulky substituents behind the boron atom they experiences they experiences steric repulsion because before atomic formation boron is sp2 hybridization bond angle 120 degree there will be less steric repulsion on atomic formation the bulky substituents are forced to fold back or behind the boron atom okay therefore back strain involves direct steric clash behind or back of nitrogen or boron in this case center on attack formation so what is f strain let us uh, recollect let us recall we have already studied please watch f strain in this case uh, it is front of nitrogen and boron you see the steric class is in in front of nitrogen and boron centers so it involves direct steric class before or in front of the nitrogen or boron center of lewis lewis acid base on attack formation so what is called i strain it occurs mainly in three member four member rings ring compounds due to ring size due to ring size as you see here this is four member ring this is five member ring this is six member ring compound lewis base okay so in you have already studied bayer strain theory the bond angle 
in this case is 90 degree so there will be strain due to ring size here there is no strain so ring ring strain causes eye strain internal strain this decreases the this decreases the basicity you remember eye strain decreases the basicity ring size effect or ring size effect eye strain involves deviation it involves deviation deformation of bond angle you see the normal bond angle is 109.5 degree this is uh, this is not the actual structure it is in both form okay so the hybridization is sp3 therefore the bond angle is 109.5 degree it deviates here it, de it involves the de it deviates from the more stable geometries so it involves the deviation deformation of bond torsional angles away from more stable geometries thus it is more important for lewis base centers embedded in rings or clusters so because of internal strain in four member ring or uh, ring size effect oxygen basicity decreases oxygen basicity decreases whereas oxygen basicity increases with the increase in ring size ring ring strain or i strain increases increases for example in this direction ring strain increases i strain increases but basicity decreases okay this effect is due to internal strain or ring size effect or known as i strain there is a lone pair on nitrogen which is delocalized on to the oxygen this oxygen donates a pair of electron to lewis acid so oxygen basicity increases with the ring size okay or oxygen basicity decreases with the decrease in ring size this effect is called internal strain thank you all for watching